we are with the actual first ever uh, Music Junkies video vlog. To kick off the first vlog, I've got a few uh, choice, a few choice items I'd like to share with you guys. Stuff that I've picked up in the last couple of weeks. Some of it, uh, well, some of it's pretty mind blowing. And uh, first thing I'm going to show you is something I got today. Now, I did pick up Blood Sugar Sex Magic, the reissue, uh, last year. So I, of course, you know, I have a, uh, a copy that is actually copyrighted 20, 2011. But uh, you'll notice the, the spine, but there's no writing on the top or on the bottom. Now, I went into my local record store. And I seen they, and I know that they just bought like forty thousand uh, used albums, and there's a lot of sealed albums in there. And they had quite a few copies of this. And what really got my attention is this sticker: contains language that some people may find offensive. Now that's something that sounds like a sticker that would have came out back whenever this album first dropped, back in what ninety one? Yeah, exactly ninety one. I get to looking at this thing, and it's a, uh, a Time Warner pressing made in Germany from Warner Music Manufacturing. So this is back when they were still manufacturing, and here's the price. They had a bunch of these at eleven ninety nine. I wish I would have grabbed more, especially when I got it home and realized this is an original pressing. It's a double LP set, but the label is the dead giveaway. If you recognize this label, if you know anything about Warner Brothers, you know this is an original German pressing. And I also did a, a check on Discogs. Sure enough, this is the real deal. So I got lucky with this. And apparently they're starting to put all of this stuff out. They're starting to put all this stuff out now that has come in as used. And again, this was sealed. And for $9.99, I was not going to pass up a brand new copy of Breaking the Chains. Turns out that it is an original pressing. It's a second issue, though. This is after they had switched over to the uh, what I refer to as the cocktail label. But yes, it's brand new. It's not warped. That's what's important. Anytime you find used records or actually new records still sealed that are old you want to look at it and make sure there's no bow in the cover if there's a bow in the cover there's a good chance that the vinyl is warped i looked at this beautiful had to grab it no regrets now i also grabbed uh, a couple of other things and uh uh now, one thing that I got, and we're going to be going over how to care for your picture discs when they come in this crappy plastic. This is an alternate revolver. It's alternate versions of all the songs that are on the Beatles revolver. And, uh, of course, it comes in the, the crappy plastic that you don't really want to keep your picture discs in. The next vlog, I'm going to show you how to care for your picture discs. and how to store them long time so you'll definitely want to check that out uh i i have to uh say i am a a collector of all things hendrix i collect everything jimmy hendrix and i recently found this it's in superb shape it's the jimmy hendrix concerts a collection of his most exciting performances that came out in 1982 so this compilation at the time most of these concerts have never been released well there's quite a few of them have been released by now but this is still a diamond in the rough and i had to have it as soon as i seen it now this is kind of the fun part of of the music junkies journal and this vlog <clears throat> Mind you, I've been up for a very long period of time. I just played a show with uh, my band, and uh, I should be in bed right now. But instead, I wanted to do this vlog because 
I'm anxious to open these. These were two more of the uh, the used collection that came in that they had put out for sale, and I was just mind blown whenever I seen these. Uh, oh my god! Yeah, I just took the price tag off of what I actually paid for this. I'm not going to disclose that, but. Uh, for this original pressing of News of the World, at one time it was $3.47. Well, it's a cutout, so but it's an original pressing. Again, I looked at it. It doesn't look bowed or anything. And uh, this copy is open at the end, but it hasn't been opened all the way. It is a cutout. But these are both Electra original pressings. And they've been sealed for all this time. And look at this. The sticker price on Jazz, $2.99. $2.99 at one time. This was $2.99. Now, of course, since vinyls come back and everybody wants some, it wasn't $2.99. But it's an original pressing. And even though I have the colored vinyl box set, I had to grab this. And so here we go. The unsheathing Okay. So that's one down. And I'm just going to set it aside and now we're going to open up News of the World. This was one of my favorite albums back in the day. Still one of my favorite Queen albums. Uh it's phenomenal. This one has not been open in any way, shape, or form on any edge, except for where the, uh, the cutout is. Mind you, it's got that $3.47. It's sealed. It's, it's, a, it's an original. And, you know, this album came out, I believe, in 77. 1977. So this album is officially 40 years old this year. So... You may ask yourself, what is it like to crack open the seal to a 40-year-old album? And I will answer you. I imagine it's much like opening a 100-year-old bottle of wine. Why 100 years old compared to the 40 of the record? Well, we all know that wine gets better with age and... You know, I can only hope that this pressing is immaculate. Time will tell. Well, actually, the first play will tell if it has any kind of heat damage or anything like that from having been exposed to elements and, you know, the like. And I'm being very careful opening this one. Don't want to bend any part of the cover because it's in immaculate shape. That's what flipped me out when I seen these. I'm like, they're sealed, they're in great shape. So, uh, yeah, let's just hope for the best. And so far, the docking was not warped. Uh, there was another one I opened. Um, what was it? Oh, yeah. Uh,. Chili Peppers. That was not warped. And that's an original from 91, which isn't quite the same as 1977. So, but I'm guessing this is like maybe an 80s printing, you know, an 80s press. I'll, I'll find out. Um, is the cover stuck together? It looks as though the cover is somewhat stuck together. Aha, uh -huh. but not anymore. So thankfully it's not mildew damage. Doesn't have that musty smell. That's one thing that I always check for. And that's another thing I will show you later on is how to get rid of the musty smell. I recognize that sleeve. Yes, indeed. This is an original pressing. And wow. Oh, wow. The label, the record label, actually deteriorated inside the cover. 
but I see no signs of deterioration in the cover. So this is wild. The Hopefully the record is fine. The record is beautiful. And it is not warped. But as you can see, the label on this side is fine. The label on this side deteriorated, which, again, it's the side that was open. So I don't know what to make of that. I, I don't know if it was moisture built up. Um, but this will be going on the cleaning machine before it goes on the turntable. And it will be going on the turntable probably within the next 24 hours. So this is exciting. An original pressing, brand new. And now, jazz. Jazz. This was a great album. This one was not stuck together in any way, shape, or form. It's just as I remember it. Oh, me, oh, my, oh, mo. So here it is with the original sleeve. I had this whenever it first came out. Actually, I don't know if it's when it first came out, but it was right around that time. This one has a slight warp to it, but it doesn't look bad. I will play this tomorrow just to make sure, because if it is bad, it will be going back. See, uh, it looks, I want to say it's a Sterling uh, Master. Yeah, it's pressed at Sterling. And, uh, let's see, RTB is who uh, has the initials in here. And so I don't know who RTB is as far as the, the person who mastered the vinyl. But this is a very, very clean, brand new, sweet copy. I've always been fascinated by the song Mustafa. Uh, I've been fascinated by several songs on this album. And of course, it's an original, so it's got that original poster. Warning, not safe for work. Warning, not safe for children. Warning, not safe for uh, anyone who is booby impaired. But this is the original poster for Jazz. And I don't even think the original, or the, I mean the, uh, the box set version has a triple fold. I think it's a double fold. I'll have to look. So yeah, these were, for the price I paid, these were a steal. And again, this is just mind-blowing right here. Eleven ninety nine for a brand new original press, a German press, Blood Sugar Sex Magic. As I was showing you with the spine of the the reissue, look at the top, spine, bottom. Oh, the bottom isn't pre uh, printed, but the top is. So that's really weird. And then if you look here, the barcode and everything's quite different. Again, I ran the matrix numbers and uh, yeah. Now, I am going to uh, close out with one thing, and that's a box set that I had bought, and I would swore I was not going to open it. However, because of the uh, tragic circumstances of Chris Cornell's death, I decided to open it on my first ever vlog, which, again, that vlog did not materialize. I only got like 50 seconds of the actual recording. So I opened this to no fanfare. It's a six picture disc box set called Echo of Miles. And uh, one set is originals, another set is oddities, and the other one is covers. So this is uh, rarities that just kind of cover their entire span of uh, their career. And each, each, uh, one each one of these uh gatefolds holds two picture discs and they're not even gatefolds really they look like gatefolds 
but you have this one, which is the uh, the covers. You have this, which is the oddities. And then you have this, which is the originals. Now, the picture discs themselves, I believe, are 90 to 120 gram. And they're immaculate, as you can see. And so I will be cleaning these. I will be uh, putting them in new sleeves. I do not like paper sleeves. Uh, paper sleeves do have the ability to scratch records or at least scuff them. And so I prefer polyline sleeves or poly sleeves. And uh, we'll get more into sleeves later on. But I'm really stoked that not only did I have this box set to open, but that I found it when I did because. I would have never seen another one. And the fine folks at my local vintage vinyl uh, helped facilitate the purchase for me to get this. And because it was a little bit complex, they actually had to do something that uh, they don't normally do. But they were willing to work with me. I was willing to work with them. you got to love it when you have a record store that is dedicated to the customer is dedicated to making sure that the customer is 100 percent satisfied and also a record store that cares enough about their customers that you know they will go the extra mile to make sure that you're happy you're satisfied if you've got any problems they'll take care of you now when you've got a place like that you got a place that'll tip you off by the way we just got forty thousand records in you might want to check some of them out you know uh, or um you know it's good to have a friend at every record shop you visit 